Condoms have been a subject of curiosity throughout history. Do you know that the first recorded use of condoms was in Egypt in 1350 before Christ? Yes, it is that old. The term condom is actually a corruption of the name of an 18th century British physician, Dr. John Conton, who provided condoms to French King Charles II. Many of us use condoms, but do you know how it manufactured? How condoms are made in factory? Every manufacturing process starts with the collection of the raw material. So do this one. The primarily material used in making condom is latex. Rubber latex is obtained from the milky fluid produced by various tropical plants. Latex is actually an emulsion or dispersion of tiny rubber particles in water. And ingredients added to the latex must be able to attach to the rubber particles during compounding. So to give the latex stability and strength, chemicals are added to it and it's heated. During this process, the chemicals react with the rubber in the latex to make it stronger, more reliable and give it low allergic potential. The latex is then transferred into vast temperature control storage tanks where it remains for approximately 7 days. During this period, vulcanization chemically strengths the bonds of the rubber. The storage time also allows any air which might have been trapped in the mixture during compounding to escape. The compound is then added to the dipping or condom forming machine. The dipping machine is a long hooded machine approximately 100 feet long. Thick tempered glass rods move along a closed belt between two circular gears. The belt drags the rods, which are called mandrels, through a series of dips into the latex compound. The mandrels rotate the spread of the latex evenly. Several cords are required to build the condom to its required thickness. Between each dip, the latex is hot and dried. After drying, the formers are dipped for a second time. The formers then pass through an oven to vulcanize the rubber. This completes the chemical reaction and ensures that the latex condoms have the necessary strength and elasticity. Finally, the condoms are removed from the formers. The condoms automatically roll off the formers. A machine shapes and trims the ring of latex at the base of each condom. Next, the condoms are put in a tumbling machine where they are coated with talc or another similar powder to prevent the rubber from sticking to itself. The latex condoms are now stored for about 2 days to mature. After a curing period of 2 days, the condoms are sampled by batch and tested for leaks and strength. The first such test is the inflation test, in which the condom is filled with air until it bursts. Condoms are required to stretch beyond 1.5 cubic feet, about the size of a watermelon, before it bursting. This test is considered most important because the elasticity of the condoms keeps it from tearing during intercourse. The next that happens in water test. In the water leakage test, the condom is filled with 300 ml of water and inspected for pin sized hold by rolling it along blotter paper. Condoms are also tested electronically. This involves mounting each condom on a charged stainless steel mandrel. The mandrel is passed over by a soft conductive brush. If pin holes are present, a circuit will establish with the mandrel and the machine will automatically reject the condom. Next, they are transferred to a machine which inserts them into the single unit pack, the foil. This is when any lube and flavoring that's going to be used is injected into the foil at the same time. The foils are heat sealed and stamped with a batch number and expiry date. 
A sample of the foil is tested for leakage and other defects.